Hello friends, this is Sandeep and uh, today again we are here with a new third method we can say we have another two methods before method 1 and method 2 and which you can try to resolve the problem if you're getting the notification which says uh, your license is not genuine and you may be a victim of software counterfeiting so we have already provided two different methods so in case let's say that both method does not work to does, uh, do not work to you you can go with this method and and i'm sure that it's going to work with you okay so first thing that what you can do here i'm just going to show you i'll open up the microsoft word here and uh, if i open up any of the blank document you can see the first message comes here there's a problem with your office license okay in case let's say that if you just uh, exit out here and uh, you will get the same similar message because uh, previous both methods does not work to me okay so exit out here and uh, now let's start here and i'm going to tell you that what you can do to resolve this problem now pc guide for you is here to help you with your issues for more updates subscribe now so go to here file menu Check with your Microsoft Office version. Go to Accounts, and uh, now here you can see about Microsoft Word. Basically, this is a, a version of your Microsoft Office package here, which is version 2105, and this is the build. All right. So now you can cancel and close this out. And now we're gonna use a two a different commands here. So what you need to do here, you need to open the Microsoft uh, command prompt. So go to the search menu from the left, type CMD and right click, click on it, run as administrator and if you prompt something click yes, need your permission. So once you uh, come in here, you have to type the command. So the both commands will be in the dis descriptions of the description of this video itself. So copy that command and just paste in this uh, command box. Once you paste it here, press enter button. All right. Now you can see here it gave, go back to the command prompt and it will be in the directory now this time. And now you have to use another command. Again, copy the command from the description of this video and paste, paste in here. You can see here the command has pasted here now. So what you can do here, again you can press enter, so the command is initiated and it's processing something, we have to wait, alright if you notice down in the taskbar here, there is a message popped up and it says downloading office updates. Now here in this place, uh, this process well depends on your internet speed, if you have a good internet speed it will take less time. But if you have, uh, you know, if you if you have, uh, you know, a low speed of your internet, so it may take a bit more time, or may it may interrupt it in between. So make sure you you, can, you should have a good internet speed on your system. So let's wait for it to complete that. Alright, you can see here it's in the process of applying the updates because the updates has been downloaded now, so it's applying. It says save your work before you continue. So um, if you have opened anything, such uh, you can see that I have opened Microsoft Outlook. So uh, if you can save it, you can close it or either you can continue. Okay, let me continue here. So now it's applying the updates, closing apps.
all right you can see here updates were installed your have office updates have been installed you can use your office apps now so you got this message now here and just close it down close the command from this well because we does not need it now so now let's check here we'll open up the application let's such as Microsoft Word as I did open earlier I'm opening up and I'll open up the blank document here Right, and uh, if you have noticed that we did not get that uh, uh, you know message like uh, uh, your license is not genuine or something here this time and uh, we'll go to the file menu we'll check the version here go to the account and uh, here you can see if you noticed before there was a different version but now the version is 2102 so that now the next task you have is to disable the office updates so here's the option update option make sure this is very important you should disable updates update just click on it if you get a notification allow it with yes and office updates are disabled now once you are done with that go to the window settings we have to disable from there as well right click on the start menu go to settings now click on update and security here here it is now let's down come down here go to advanced option now you have an option here receive updates uh, for other Microsoft products when you update your windows okay so it is enabled so make sure you will disable this option as well just toggle this button and disable those updates too and here we are done so this is what we all we need to do and uh, hopefully you will not get that notification after doing those these settings in your Microsoft Office and Windows updates if you like this video please give me a thumbs up and do not forget to subscribe thank you so much for watching have a wonderful day